spoilers in this video, two and a half men, I'm probably just going to call this like best, yeah, best of, something like that. I hadn't really planned on what I was going to do with this list I made of unac increasingly unacceptable behavior, that how the, the show, yeah, the characters, you know, they, they behave, in, they, they do increasingly unacceptable things over the course of the show. I, I made it in part to, to really highlight that, but I ended up not actually, yeah, I don't think I read even a single one of those aloud because I wanted them to be surprises, but again, spoilers all through, through the entire show. I'm spoiling parts of season 12. This is the list I made, and this is not a complete, like, definitive list, but these are some of the things I felt that, excuse me, these are, these are things where each season they do increasingly, they, they do more unacceptable behavior than they did in earlier seasons. So, starting with season one. Judith's parents support her ex-husband more than they support her. Charlie gives a ride and invites home a woman he sees, he first sees in the process of trying to destroy a car with a bat. Charlie is careless enough in playing basketball that Jake gets injured and he and then tries to avoid telling Alan or Judith that Jake got hurt. Charlie tells Jake to say messed up things to his child psychiatrist, such as that he sees dead people. Season two. We start hearing about Charlie seducing then dumping people close to Alan and Jake, even though it hurts them when he does it. Alan lets 11-year-old Jake drive Evelyn's car, even just a little, and even in an empty parking lot. That's still, yeah. Evelyn has sex with a colleague in Charlie's car. Kid Charlie framed Kid Alan for shoplifting, which warped Alan's mind since he imagines that he did it without realizing it and must have an evil side to him that takes over when he least expects it. A doctor that Charlie dumped years ago squeezes his testicles so much that he can't sit down normally for a day or more. Charlie pretends to be gay for better work and goes on a quote-unquote date with Alan. Charlie tries to pick up the widow at the funeral for his stepfather. And Evelyn tries to sell her house before someone else can so she will make the money for it, from it. Season three. Evelyn said that the blind date can give amazing blowjobs to her son. We no longer live in a Parky's movie. You turned my business into a brothel. I leave for three hours and you turned my business into a brothel. And Charlie admits, you know, do, do you drink when babysitting Jake? Not at first, but he wears me down. When you when you were a baby, we called yeah the the the. I forget exactly how it comes up, but Evelyn is talking about what they called Charlie's penis. When, well, when you were a baby, we called it Mr. Pinky. No wait, Mr. Pinky was the cat. What did we call your penis? Mr. PP. That's what we called it. You can see how I mistake that for Mr. Pinky. And Charlie tricks Jake into learning ballet just so he can hit on the ballet teacher. Yeah. Alan maintains a relationship with an elder, elderly woman, Norma, played by Cloris Leachman, because she will spend a lot of money on his chiropractical practice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alan has sex with a woman who clearly has serious, serious mental issues. She believes the reason Santa doesn't come is that she's naughty, even though she spends an eternity cooking and decorating. Excuse me. Alan freaks out in a bookstore and a movie theater in Charlie's car, each time getting abused by Charlie, often left behind. I'm, I'm not saying that Alan's behavior is unacceptable. I'm saying Charlie's is. Mia won't have sex with Charlie, so he suggests he go have sex with another woman. Jake took Alan's Viagra. Evelyn cheers on and then has sex with Archie, John Lovitz, who wins over Charlie in a jingle competition. Well, before that, can I ask you a favor? Can I borrow your wedding ring? I thought as long as we're in Vegas, I'd marry Candy. Are you insane? Come on, you're not using it. 
season four. Oh, there we go. The girl Charlie was with had a gun. Evelyn takes advantage of Charlie's near-death experience. Relax, she's a cop. Or was a cop. Or is wanted by the cops. I know she mentioned cops. She's married to a cop. And Charlie keeps dating a woman after admitting she, she's just like his mother. Alan tries to sleep with a pregnant woman, Bertha's daughter Naomi, because she's pregnant. Charlie's date is willing to sleep with Charlie, though he might be her stepbrother. Charlie seriously considers either as a threesome with his brother or at least sex with the same woman right before or right after. Charlie will help Jake gamble and when Jake wins $1,200, Alan tries to get some of the money from him. Season 5, Charlie admits to having sex with a woman who lies completely still and doesn't smile or smiles in a very creepy way and compares that to necrophilia. Rose pays a young attractive woman to have sex with Charlie so that he will catch her disease and drugs him, apparently with an elephant tranquilizer, and then makes him a prisoner in his home. Evelyn's husband is found dead and we briefly believe that he and his daughter had sex. And season six, Charlie borrows $38 from Alan, who when not getting it back, sucks gasoline out of Charlie's car. And when Charlie learns that tries to set his head on fire with a lighter, Jake takes Charlie's advice on how to get a beer and gets really drunk. Alan gets tased in the stomach. Jake accidentally starts a fire in Evelyn's kitchen by leaving something burning unattended. The moment that Charlie suspects Chelsea's cheating on him, he tries to cheat on her. Chelsea's mother turns out to be a bigot. Charlie doesn't care whether Judith is okay while in labor. Season 7, Alan babysits Judith's mother and hopes for a stroke as she continues to hit on him. Wow, that's so messed up. Chelsea tricks Charlie into getting a colonoscopy as revenge for him lying his way out of spending time with her parents. When Chelsea breaks up with him, Charlie repeatedly sleeps with her best friend, even after she confronts him about it. Alan is going to talk to the mother of Eldridge about Eldridge talking Jake into bad behavior, but decides against it because she's attractive. Piece of ass ch trumps peace of mind every time, as Charlie puts it. Season 8. Jake has sex with two girls. Alan cheats on Lindsay with Melissa after agreeing to move in with Lindsay. Alan accidentally burns Lindsay's entire house to the ground. Alan has sex with a woman, even though she demands he dress up as Hitler and even remarks that it's a shame Hitler ruined such a good look, the mustache. Charlie asks Russell, the pharmacist, to date his mother, but Russell instead shows up with an attractive 30-year-old woman, who he pays to have sex with him. Oh, that's right. I was, yeah, I didn't... Yeah, this is where I put Russell's catchphrase. What are you, a cop? Alan tricks several members of his family, and Berta, and wants to with Rose, out of tens of thousands of dollars, which he wastes on luxury items. Season 9. Walden accidentally spooks Alan, who drops Charlie's ashes on the floor. Walden sleeps with Evelyn, his best friend's mother, after being asked not to. Alan gets a hand job from Walden's mother, after being asked not to. Evelyn sleeps with Lindsay's mother. Charlie, Charlie's ghost, tricks Alan into moving out of the beach house. Alan takes advantage of Walden and others being nice to him after he fakes a heart attack. Season 10. Alan agrees to Walden... Let's see... Walden joining he and Lindsay so that Lindsay will sleep with a woman and Alan at the same time. Walden dates a lesbian that he has to pay to be his girlfriend. Wow. Walden pretends to be poor for several episodes in a row so that the woman he dates won't be with him for his money. Alan accidentally cuts himself while manscaping. Jake sleeps with his 37 year old girlfriend's 18 year old daughter, who gets back with her middle aged ex boyfriend when he proposes to her. Alan sleeps with a woman who's married because he thinks her husband is in a coma. Last two seasons. Season 11. 
Alan sleeps with Lindsay, who is cheating on her husband. Alan is creepy when talking to Linda Carter, who is a fan of. Alan starts pretending that he's a man called Jeff Strongman, even starting to date Larry's sister under that name. And season 12, Alan and Walden pretend to be gay and marry each other so that they can adopt a child which Walden can't while single and women won't stay with him. Alan sleeps with her social worker who then becomes a stalker who he then, when he breaks up with her and she then sleeps with Walden who stays with her so that she won't take away the adopted child. And finally, Charlie seeks to kill Alan, Walden, and Evelyn. And I guess Rose, if she hadn't left. Man, this was a messed up show, and man, I love it. I guess I should end the video here. I don't think that there's, I mean, everything else, let me, let me do a quick check. It was really the only spoilery stuff that most of the other stuff I did. I didn't put a lot of spoiler stuff in this. And most of the... Yeah, I think that's going to be the extent. The um, let me let me briefly see if um No, that's yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed watching as I enjoyed watching and recording and I will catch you next time.